Ever since the space race, humankind has launched a lot of things into space and while doing so has polluted our orbit. Sometimes experimental satellites went wrong and turned to junk from the beginning and some other times space accidents created lots of space junk. NASA estimates more than half a million items larger than a marble are currently floating in space and these are the ones that can be tracked there may be millions more that cannot be tracked. Some of the larger debris were created by satellites exploding, such as China destroying a defunct weather satellite with a missile that added more than 3,000 pieces to orbit. In 1963, Project Westford, or Project Needles, launched 500 million copper vials into orbit to form a dipole antenna system so military messages could be sent coast to coast in the United States. These needles were only supposed to stay in orbit for three years, but they outlasted the initial project and remain in orbit to this day. In 2016, there were 38 clusters in existence. These items are all in constant movement, and depending where they are in orbit, they have speeds that can reach to about 17,500 miles per hour. The closer an object is to the Earth, the faster it travels. The debris can hit each other and other objects and lose energy, causing them to switch to lower orbits. This is potentially dangerous to satellites or the International Space Station. Man down! Man down! In 1957, the United States Department of Defense started tracking space debris larger than a grapefruit. Presently, in conjunction with NASA, they actively track approximately 21,000 items with a special satellite. There are established protocols to address debris. One is called the Debris Avoidance Maneuver that moves the ISS. This is not as easy as it sounds, since the ISS is as big as a soccer field and weighs 450 tons. If time is too short or the maneuver is not feasible, the ISS crew members move to Soyuz spacecraft to prepare to return to Earth in an emergency. This has happened three times in history. But large debris is not the only issue. Even small, untraceable items can cause damage. The ISS has had to have a window replaced simply from tiny paint flecks that were smaller than one millimeter and has sustained damage to thermal radiators and solar panels. In late 2017, SpaceX Dragon cargo vehicle delivered the space debris sensor to the ISS that will monitor impacts caused by small-scale space debris for the next two to three years. Obviously, this junk does not stay in orbit forever. Some will eventually lose energy due to collisions and enter Earth's atmosphere. In fact, every week, 4,400 pounds of debris uncontrollably re-enters our atmosphere. Luckily for us on Earth, these objects burn up in the atmosphere on re-entry. Even if they survive beyond re-entry, more than likely they will break down into smaller pieces and land in oceans. Because remember, water covers 70% of the Earth's surfaces. So it's unlikely that you'll be hit with space debris, but the probability is not zero. Some scientists classify our orbit as being at critical density. This means that more fragments will be generated by collisions then will be removed by atmospheric drag, even if no further objects are added. There is research being done to help address this issue in improving detection methods and removal technologies that involve capture, laser beams to interfere with orbit of the debris, and promote decay or pushing debris further out away from satellite zones and upcycling old satellite parts. There has also been an active effort in space activities to limit or prevent additional debris from being added to the orbit. Of course, some may argue that we might need to limit our space activities too. However, if you think that these efforts may allow us to surpass the limits of the pale blue dot, to spread to the solar system and maybe eventually to the Milky Way galaxy, 
I don't think this is a dream that we can let go just because of space debris. But hey, who knows? Maybe one of you who is watching this video will come up with the ultimate solution to the space debris problem. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and share it on your social media accounts. Also, if you'd like to support our YouTube adventure, please consider treating us a coffee per month on Patreon. Until next time, stay curious.